in a rag in a beater like I'm Irish son. Yeah, they used to try to leave me out the flyer for the show. Now my trailer say it's Guap Dad on HBO. Get delivered to my. I'm in Cologne, smelling like buying Cologne. Miami is not cold. No, we not on a boat. I'm on a river with my bros. We in trap with at least 15. I did 10,000 hours, then did 15 more. Cause I'm always trying to double my stats and team goals. In the middle, like bingo, with no prize to take. So we both on the floor, but you ain't never played. You a fan, have a seat, sit down and watch the game. I'm black, Iverson. When I started balling, I was sliding. sliding. I was in the club for I was 21. And now I'm with a savage and she 21. I used to rap 200s around 21. Stupid young. Now I'm in Atlanta, shout out 21. Started in the back, now I'm in the front. Do rag in a beater like I'm ever son. Fade up. What you know about rolling down in the deep when your brain goes numb you can call that mental freeze when these people talk too much put that in slow motion yeah i feel like an astronaut and what you know about rolling down in the deep when your brain goes numb you can call that mental freeze when these people talk too much put that in slow motion yeah i feel like an astronaut in the ocean she said that i'm cool I'm like, yeah, that's true. that's true. I believe in G-O-D. Don't believe in... She keep playing me dumb. I'm a player for fun. Y'all don't really know my mental. Let me give you the picture like stencil. Falling out in a drought. No flow rain was I'm pouring down. See, that pain was all around. See, my mode was kind of loud. And here were the Bulls arriving earlier at the arena with a big game on the road awaiting. It's live coverage of the NBA on Monday night. Thank you for joining us here on 2K Sports. Our game tonight featuring the Chicago Bulls as they go up against the Philadelphia 76ers here in Wells Fargo Center. This is Kevin Harlan. With me tonight, Greg Anthony and Richard Jefferson. And joining us courtside, reporter David Aldridge. Hey, Dave. Well, thank you, Kevin. We all know Joel Embiid's incredible blend of size, strength, and skill. He says, whenever I want, I'm able to be Shaq, and I'm also able to be Dirk, Kobe, or MJ, or any guard, really. Just a combination of everything offensively. Kevin, whether it's shooting off the dribble or... He does indeed. David, thanks. Now let's take a look at the Bulls' opening lineup. Zach Levine is out there with Rodman. Then it's Pippen. Then it's Jordan. And it's Vucevic in at the five down low. And for Philadelphia... On the block, it's Tucker next to Embiid. Harden out there with Iverson. And it's Martin in at the small forward position. You know, as the regular season, Greg, winds down, you can feel things start to change around the league, can't you? Yeah, I mean, some teams are getting totally in the zone for the playoffs, while other squads are using this time to plan for next year and try to figure out what went wrong. Here's Jordan. That drops, and it okay, comes off Jordan. the assist from Rodman. Yeah, nice timing there on that catch and shoot. Jordan with such a musical rhythm to his game. Here's Iverson. Shooting oh, foul man. as the whistle blows. Oh, He'll shoot Jordan. two free throws. That's his first personal Clearly foul. Clearly a foul. First this is his foul. first free throw of the game. That's free throw good, good Iverson. Yeah. And certain teams take on the attitude of their city. And over the years, Philadelphia has been one of them. The Sixers known for having tough teams much like the town. Baseline J on the way. Misses off the right iron. 
And the 76ers with possession. They defeated Indiana in their last game. And, and you've got to love a team that can maintain its composure on the road. Take good shots and knock them down with confidence. They took the air out of the crowd again and again with big shots. They never let the fans become a factor. See, what a rough quarter for him. Nothing seemingly going his way. When guys are moving the ball, sharing it, it makes the game so much more fun, both as a player and as a fan. And Greg, you mentioned the 76ers have taken on the identity of Philadelphia. In your estimation, how? Huh? You know, you go all the way back to the 80s. This has been a team that plays hard, focuses on defense, gritty, much like their city. So they tend to play with a chip on their shoulder. And you love seeing that great mobile one drive a second time. And the awareness of his footwork and body on that drive. Wow. And Jordan sends it back. And that one, good. Chicago has gone 0-2 from deep here. Pippen kicks to Jordan. Jordan with another miss. 76ers have gone 2 of 5 here, making 40% so far to start out the game. Harden, no good. They timed up the layup perfectly. The D saw it develop and got there to bother the shot. And it's Pippen with the jam. Don't you wish you could leap like Pippen? I mean, I do. Iverson outside. Driving the lane. It's good. The assist that time from Harden. And it's six points for Iverson. And once it got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. Easy possessions like that literally are just a gift. You just dream of them. He'll gladly take those. And the first time out of the game called for Chicago. Their last meeting was in Philadelphia, where they were unable to fight off the 76ers. And they'll want to show that they're a much better team than they demonstrated last time out against these guys. At the very least, avoid a... up the turnovers and make better decisions it should be a much closer game this time around now tucker scotty pippen missing from long range and the shot goes down iverson's got eight his accuracy is on another level this quarter really high quality shooting from the baseline count that one and when we think about the excitement that jordan brings to the game but but what about the offensive fundamentals the, the, the man is a perfectionist now, here's Tucker. He's averaging a bit over five points a game. And there's the call. It's going to be an illegal streak. Beyond the leaning, you can see his feet weren't set on that screen. Easy call. Look, guys get away with this all the time. But on this occasion, he got caught. And that rejection had some mustard on it. Huge, huge play. And right out of the gate, trying to set the tone defensively, you got to love that energy. Chicago trailing here. Jordan inside, guarded by Hart. You just got to love watching a big man hustle on the glass. This is what his team expects and needs from him. Here's Embiid. Nice work on the board. It's paying off with the basket. And how about that reach of Embiid using those long arms to just gobble up second chance opportunities? Or three, Levine. That's in for the first Levine. basket of the game after three attempts. And he likes to get in a rhythm early. Nice triple. The pass to Tucker. Allen Iverson on the way. Guarded by Jordan. Levine against Martin. No good. Nice D from Levine. And so Levine will bring it up now for the Bulls. They trail by one. They come in fresh off a win against the Heat. And the bench turned up in that one. Whatever they couldn't get from their starters, they got from the reserves. For a number of reasons, depth seems to become more important every year. I like whenever Embiid's teammates use his size and throw it anywhere near the rim because he finishes it. Kicks it out to Jordan. That falls. Nice Michael speed that time Jordan. from Scotty Pippen. Three. Jordan's got nine points. Yeah, that's two bombs in a row from long range. 
Harden against Pippen. Vucevic with the block. Well timed by Vucevic. Not a center who piles up blocks, but this guy picks his spot. Michael Jordan. You've got to love his aggressiveness to finish inside. Well, his leaping ability gives him a great advantage. The 76ers have gone 6 of 13 from the field, just under the 50% mark. And for years, it has seemed like Nikola Vucevic has been so underrated. Multi time All Star. This is a big man that really does it all. Now, here is Mark. He had 16 points in the win against the Pacers in Indianapolis. Not to mention the rim protection he provided, credited with two blocks, and you know that he altered a few more. Here's Jordan after the Sixers pick up two. And Richard, it seems as though it's easy to take Vucevic for granted. And it's so strange. He consistently puts up great numbers and plays his role to perfection. A big guy that any team would love to have, especially when you consider how efficient he is. Unlike a lot of clubs now, Richard, this Bulls team has not fallen in love with a three-point shot. Yeah, some of it's scheme and some of it's personnel. Don't just shoot threes because everyone else is doing it. They slash through the lane. They'll post you up, and it gets them to the free throw line. That's where they dominate. And Jordan gets it to through. go. And he's that made his wrong. mark on offense especially. they got to be thankful he's on their squad. Pippen against Harden. Laid in with a nice touch off the glass. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. Jordan, the pass to Vucevic. Jordan's shot is off. The 76ers lead. Here's Iverson. There's the drive. And the dunk by Iverson. You gotta love Iverson's tenacity, especially when he's driving. Loose and stolen by Iverson. Here's Harden on the win. To the paint. It's tipped. Here's Embiid. He doesn't hit that one. That's just the bucket uh, look you expect him to make. It's tough when you miss those. It's Jordan with the drive. Oh, yeah, you won't find a much more entertaining sight. Uh, I'd call that slam dunk contest level. Let's take a second look at that fantastic block. And boy, did he get up quick to reject that shot. That's as fundamental as defense gets. Iverson, no luck. That was a good look for him from mid-range, but just couldn't make the defense pay. And Jordan gets it to go. Jordan's got 18 points in the game. He's looked practically...